Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you for tuning in. Today we have a very controversial issue. Um, I've talked to my customers, I talked to several other people, including Yamaha uh, headquarters, and uh, read a lot about it and also I've used my 44 years of experience on this issue. Question is, can I run my motor um, while I'm flushing it, run the motor while I'm flushing it from the top uh, adapter, from the hose adapter up in the power head, okay? Now, there are two very important words in that sentence. Can I or should I? Yamaha says, and this is a warning for everybody, Yamaha says you should not do it. You can do, can you do it? Yes, you can do it, but you shouldn't do it. That's what the book says. That's what Yamaha says, okay? Now, I talked to several of my instructors up there, several of the guys on the phone, and I said, listen, I've been doing this for decades, and I haven't seen the first uh, impeller that's been burned. Obviously, I keep it under one minute. I keep it at 700 RPMs uh, with a lot of water pressure. I do this to check my motors before they go into service because I don't know if the new customer that is coming in is bringing something hidden in the motor that I don't know and then customer said that wasn't there before so I always run the motors for a minute or so before I bring them into service and I always hook them up up here. It's faster, it's easier and I know for a fact I'm not damaging anything. Warning again, this video is not an advice or an statement saying from now on because I do it you can do it go ahead I said that you can do it no Yamaha said you shouldn't do it this is just to show you the facts and the reality of the issue at hand but in any way it's an advice for you to change your practice this is only your decision I do it I keep it under one minute I do it at 700 RPMs with a lot of water pressure. So far, 44 years, no one impeller burned, okay? So, I'll do this test beginning today with an F-150. Okay. So, follow me on this. Okay, guys, uh, as I said before, we're gonna start all these tests with different horsepowers, uh, different motors, different engines. Right now, this is an F-150. I believe this one in this case is a 2006, 2007. I connected the hose on the top adapter on the power head, all right? Now, once I turn the water, we'll see where that water goes first. That's important. So, I trim the engine up a little bit because I want to bring the camera down next and show you what's going on. You know what? Let's do it now. Now, sorry for the movement. Don't get too sick with me now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to move it the least I can, okay? So up there, we have the pipe, right? The tube, right there, right? There's a lot of sun out here. Okay, that's the pipe right there, the tube, right? Exhaust, etc. All right, so let's turn the water on. Boom, it's a lot of pressure. Let's see the first place. See, first place where the water comes out is from the pipe right there. Do you see the amount? It's about the same amount of water that is coming out of the hose right now. All that water is focused and concentrated going to the pipe that goes straight into the water pump. It's a lot of water so we can prove while the engine is off that the water and the, the water, that the pump and the impeller is getting plenty of water to be lubricated, correct? Now let's run the motor now. Okay, now we're gonna run the motor, uh, turning the water on and running the motor. Now, because it's gonna be a lot of exhaust coming off, we're gonna kind of isolate that water coming out from the pipe so we don't confuse that water with the spray of the exhaust coming out. I'll put a hose directly into the hose pipe. Hose pipe, listen to me. Onto the pump pipe. So, whatever comes out of this hose is only coming from the pipe. The rest is going to be all spray from the exhaust. Now, for those that are thinking that, how can I run the motor without the lower unit? Would the oil pump 
be uh, pumping oil. Yes, it would because this is the type of oil pump that is attached to the power head. All the pumps are attached to the midsection. In that type of pump, you do need to have the lower unit on. That's why when you remove the lower unit and you see your dry shaft, you see an extension of the splines. Splines in the top, splines in the bottom for the, for the oil pump. In this case, no. Crankshaft will be turning the oil pump. So let's turn the water on. Keep an eye on that. Um, keep an eye on that. Uh, let me bring the camera down a little bit. There you go. See how much water is going to that um, water pump impeller. When people say, no, you're going to burn the impeller, or whatever. So this is the test, so we can put this to rest. Okay. Keep up. So still, with the engine running, you can see some spray from the exhaust. Right? And look at the amount of water going to the pump while the engine is running, okay? And now you can see that the impeller is getting water and a lot of water, all right? Okay, guys, well, there you have it. I hope this helps in uh, all of us, all the boat industry to understand that uh, Yamaha it's, has all the rights to say you shouldn't do it. They are protecting the product. I think that's perfect. That's okay. They are protecting the warranty and the liability. I understand all that. You have to put things into perspective. That's why the reason of this video, I want to bring to you, to all of us, that it's okay, my opinion only, I'm not saying that you should do it, that it's okay to run the motor with the hose connected on the upper uh, flush adapter on the power head, you know, for a minute or so at very low RPMs, minimum 700, short period of times, and a lot of water pressure. Uh, you should be fine. You are fine. Uh, so that's the proof of it, and I hope this helps you. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget that, you know, please subscribe and uh, thumbs up and all that crap. Thank you guys. Take care.